All right, guys, we already got all the batteries connected in parallel. So another six of them here in parallel, six of them here in parallel. So we're gonna do the jump right here to do the series. And one over there is gonna be the positive on the negative. Okay, that's where the charge is gonna go. So right on the centers, right there, either or, I wanna try. I wanna, I, I choose to do, I can hook it up from there to there. Here it's gonna be the series for the 24 volt. So I'll positive and negative over there. <clears throat> okay. All right. So now we're going to tighten up the nuts. Yeah, everything secured. Yeah. And after that, we're going to use a, a meter. Don't want to skip any one of these and we're going to test the voltage. Make sure that now they're balancing each other and we're going to use the voltage and test to see how we're going to get our 24 volt out of this. Okay. Supposed to be using like a top wrench, it tells you how many uh, pounds you're gonna be doing. See right there, terminal hardware torque 11.3 Newton, so 100 in pounds. So, this is what you should do and use the right uh, tool for that, but I don't have it with me here. And you can always pick up a torque wrench at the uh, hardware stores. And uh, you can able to go according to the battery manufacturer specifications. Yeah, you're not gonna ever have a problem over turking it and not being tight or being so tight too much so you can't snap the uh, the terminals and you don't want that at all because these are uh, these are lead and you don't want to break any of the the nuts or the bolt or tighten them too much it's always nice to come back and redo it after a month or maybe every quarter. You do that because of um, when it charge is pulsing, you tend to lose some kind of tightness. So we're gonna use the the uh, meter and test the voltage, and we can get from here to show you guys how the batteries look like after all this hard work we put in here to set up these batteries here uh, 12 batteries six in parallel six in parallel in series just like when you do for uh the nissan leaf or whatever batteries you want to do double the, the amps but it's supposed to be the same Voltage and the amperage. I'm talking like this guys. I have a mask on my face because the location where I am I'm gonna wear a mask um, This is not my house. It's someone's house Everybody have a different way of living. So I respect that uh, For me breathing in their house or for me picking up anything from their house. Here is the first bank and we're gonna see the voltage at which the batteries are right now. You can see that. Well, we're reading at a 12.93 volt, 4.94, they're balancing. And we're gonna to come to the other side here. 
from this battery look at the probes over there from this battery to the last one there we have a gap here because it's the drainage for the air conditioning the water drainage so that's where the gap and we're gonna take it from there to the last battery to see the voltage so 12.4 now it's coming up 12.3 12.4 see that's balancing here are the results for the other one is up 12.4 so you got a positive here and the negative on the other side there so we are reading at 12.4 as you were seeing the bank right here was balancing it's taking a millivolt to balance it go 12.3 12.4 to do the balancing while this one here is steady is already balancing the power that's the last bank i just set up so it's balancing everything all right guys this is how you balance your batteries i decide to go this way because i don't want to it's a lot of batteries uh, lead acid batteries they have the uh, tendency to go uh, completely out of control what i mean by out of control uh, discrepancy on voltage as well likewise any other batteries all the batteries does but these batteries i want to keep so that they can have the same voltage and the amps going to be the same like i said earlier it's 5.5 watt hours per cell so 5.5 watt hours per cell let's see my cell 15 minutes reading to 1.67 volts and cell at 25 degrees C so balancing is going here well let's take it to the side, other side there and see if it's gonna be 12.94 uh, constantly all right you can see 12.93 12.94 Look, it's going to uh, sweep again, but it will type with 9.4. Going to keep here, see? So it's transferring the power slowly to get it equal. So that's this is what you want to do. You want to balance the batteries before you tie them together. So a millivolt, it's not going to hurt, but if they can transfer that way, if there's not enough power, that's what we have to do and charge them up now they're all gonna be equal voltage okay so he's doing it bounce back and forth but, yep so this is the battery bank I'm gonna give you two amp hours when I'm done like and subscribe Now we're going to tie these batteries into a 24 volt configuration. So due to that, since we're trying to prevent a voltage discrepancy, you have to have your wire length, they're all the same. So these are all the same length, all the same length. So now what I'm going to do, you multiply this end to this end. Since it's far away, it's approximately to a foot or eight or nine inches. I have a tape here approximately. So you measure from this side. So just watch where your logs start. And um, from the corner right here and all the way where the log ends right here. Okay. So you take the wire, make sure you approximated the wire all the way here. And we go round all the way back to the dead end here. So it's one length. So multiply that by two. So you're not going to have any discrepancy. Now, instead of this wire to be the one that's supposed to come here, be longer than the other one. So I do the calculation from here to here times two. So that's what I just did. And I'm using the black wire because of, so I can put the red and this side is black it's gonna be on this other side as well so what I did I got this one now sorry I'm using one hand here and you see where I marked it 
So that's is two times a length of this one to give you the complete instead of being too long or to being too short. So it's equal. So I'm taking this from this distance, from this distance to this battery. So I'm taking it from this battery now would have been a terminal here and a terminal here. So I multiply that by two to give me the ex exact thing instead of being proximate to give it exact measurement. So I can lose any voltage. Okay? Like and subscribe. I hope you learned something. JW Solar USA. Stay tuned where I'm going to connect the 24 volt. Make it a 24 volt battery bank together. Now I've created the, len the link to do the 24 volt configuration. I got to loosen up this one. And the batteries are balancing each other. And now they're going to be connected in series. So instead of 12 volt, they were seeing at 12 volts on each bank. Each bank. And now they're going to be connected to the voltage going to be going up. And makes it a 24 volt. And the amperage we were having on each of these batteries on each string or each bank here, bank of six or string of six then it's going to cut in half. So if this one, for example, is a thousand amps, okay, a thousand amps, and this was a thousand amps right here, when you connect it, when they are in parallel like this, one bank is thousand and one bank, which is a string, a thousand. So you connect this wire here in series, it cuts the power down. Instead of a thousand, now it's going to be 500 it's because the voltage goes up and the amperage stay the same. So the amperage, you lose the amperage and you gain uh, the voltage. So that's what exactly that is going to happen here. And you will see, now it's already 24 volt right away. 24 volt, make sure this wire is resting good. We got it all figured out. And we keep it on a 24 volt. The loop right here makes it a 24 volt. And the amperage and the voltage on this one, voltage on this one now is going to be the same. It drops and becomes the same. So what we have done here is already changed this battery from a low efficiency battery, which is a 12 volt. It's not that efficient, efficient 12 volt, but it's very economical and it's durable and you can do it anything you on a 12 volt you can do so because of this wire makes it 24 volt to become one step higher makes it convenient and makes it uh, um, efficient that's the word makes it efficient and uh, make it more powerful makes it more powerful so now you can run a lot of stuff into this Low voltage, high voltage, low amperage. So you cut the risk of, you know, fire or whatever. And uh, amperage draw. Now we're going to set up the meter here. And you're going to see, it's supposed to read 24 volts now. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you just seen exactly what happened here. Now it becomes 25.88. So 25.88, see, still balancing there, 25.87. 25.88 divided by 2 will give you exactly the number for each bank. So now this is what it is. It becomes a 24 volt battery bank. So always try to test the voltage before you connect anything and make sure that this is what it is. So our connection is correct and uh, we are ready to do something else. Charging these batteries. Or connect them to inverter. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Now we've got everything set up here. Let me show you what I did. We're in the breaker for the solar and uh, breaker for the charge controller. It's a 30 amp charge controller because a 30 amp in 30 out is the midnight. Uh, solar the kid 
So it's 30 amp charge control, 30 amp in, 30 out, out. Comes to this. So the breaker is 30 amp and the solar panel is 20 amp. So now we're gonna fire up this thing. Oh, sorry. And we came all the way tied to the positive where they draw equally, positive and negative. Positive charge controller comes here. Negative charge controller comes here. And we are charging. And here is a loop for the series, for the 24 volt. So let's go ahead and turn the breaker on for the battery first. You go with the battery first. Never turn the, um, the PV first. So let's see. There we go. Now we already got the uh, the DC from the battery, and there is the uh, for the panels. It requires a 20 amp. Okay, let's see how much watch we're bringing in here. And it's cloudy outside. Okay, MPPT is tracking and it's trying to be stable. There you go. 228, almost 230 watts. There you go. 230 watt coming in on a cloudy, cloudy day outside. Very powerful panels. Bringing the 8 amps. We're putting back to the batteries as we go. All right, guys, this uh, will complete our installation. And screen is just really hard to read here. Okay, dim the thing. There we go. It's fluctuating. All right, see, be steady now. There we go. So it's all completed. And we got our system running with the SLA Silid Acid Battery. And there we go. This is our installation. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. These are the guys going to be incorporated to the charging station to charge the batteries. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. That's almost 300 watts there. It was ramping up all the way. Boy, the numbers are dancing everywhere. It's tracking really fast.